Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I bless the Lord one more time. I give thanks for His grace. I give thanks for His mercy. I thank Him for keeping me through all the day. And I thank Him one more time that we can gather together one more time in this fashion. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I lift your heart tonight. Lord Jesus. One more time I can say hallelujah. Oh God, I glorify your name. I greet the Spirit of God who is the head of my life tonight. I greet my bishop, his wife, and you lovely saints tonight. Those online tonight, I greet you too in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing good that we have done. But we give God thanks that we are still here. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please turn your song book tonight to hymn number 252. Praise God. He hideth my soul. Praise God. So many things going on right now. Hallelujah. And I give God thanks that he is hiding our soul tonight. Hallelujah. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. A wonderful Savior is Jesus.
together. Mighty God, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for keeping us alive. Hallelujah. One more time, we are here tonight standing. Lord Jesus, with a praise, with a gladsome heart, Lord Jesus, and mind. Lord God, thank you for keeping us, oh God, throughout the day. My God, I thank you, God, for bringing us here safely one more time. Praise God to Lord about you tonight. I pray everything that should be said and done, let it be done to your glory and honor. Bless and anoint one more time, Lord Jesus. You're my servant tonight, Lord God, our bishop and pastor tonight. One more time, as you come, Lord Jesus, we oh God, to break on your breath, life unto us. Praise God, I pray, God, tonight that you'll have mercy upon us one more time. Oh God, let us come tonight, Lord God, ready to receive, Lord God, your word. Oh God, to guide us, oh God Almighty, and live according to it, oh God. Bless us tonight. Bless those who are coming, it's in their steps. Bless those online tonight. Oh God, I pray. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. And for Jesus' sake, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 134. And we all got to read it together. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. 134. Praise God. Praise God, we begin together. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord that made heaven and earth. Bless thee out of Zion. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise him, praise him. We'll see what we wish up tonight as he comes to us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me take this opportunity to greet the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ tonight and to um, all the brethren here. Greetings in Jesus' name. Uh, special greeting to those who are streaming live in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome. Praise God in the house of the Lord. Again, to we come to magnify His great and awesome name. Praise God. Uh, it's another night in the house, and we just want to be grateful that we are privileged to be here. Praise God. So many things happen during the course of this day. And, um, you know, it could have happened to us. But thank God. Amen. Because of his grace and because of his mercies, we are here tonight. Praise God. Mercy kept us. Yes. Amen. And so we ought to be Amen. grateful. Blessed be the name Amen. of the Lord. Praise God, the children of the Lord have a right to shout and sing. We have a right to live and to praise our God. Um, praise will go far beyond the grave. Praise God. Praise and worship will continue in the heavens. And so um, there are some things that are temporary and there are some things that are permanent. And so we must be able to distinguish between both. Praise God and everything on this side there will be an end to it. But our praise or the worship will continue on the other side. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, I just want to encourage you tonight to be very competitive. Yes. Praise God. Amen. We are storing yes. up riches in yes. heaven. Yes, amen. Praise God. Just continue to compete. Run this race. Yes. Amen. It's a race that is set by God for each and every one of us. And if we only um, stay in our lane and run, praise God Almighty, we will be rewarded. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right, we're going to continue where we left off last week. And uh, we're talking about, I have committed, no, not the one. I cannot be lost regardless what I do. That's the one, right? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I cannot be lost regardless of what I do. 
And this is one of the excuse of backsliders. Backsliders. Because if someone says this, oh, who have not yet come to Jesus, then you can understand. Because they don't know. But when one come to the Lord and believe that they can just go and do what they want to do, and they cannot be lost. And of course, that is something that comes from a backslider. Praise God. Who is a backslider? One who has started. One who have tasted that the Lord is gracious. One that is saved. Praise God. And uh, was going on with Jesus. And after a while, he or she just stop and go back in the rowing field of sin. Praise God. And um, there is also one of the doctrine that Jesus paid the price for everyone. So no matter what we do, we can be lost. I don't know if you hear that one. But it's one of the doctrines. Praise God. In, and um, Paul would regard that too as another gospel. But the further state, which is not another. So even though you know, they preach, but it's really not another, because only one gospel, yes, one gospel of the kingdom. Why? Because there's one king and one kingdom. Yes, Praise his holy name. All right, uh, we look into some scriptures as you grab your Bibles. We will now turn to um, First Thessalonians chapter three. Thessalonians chapter 3 and uh, we will read from verse 7. They begin thus. Therefore, brethren, we were comforted over you in all our affliction and distress by your faith. The key verse that I want is verse 8. For now we live if we stand fast in the Lord. Now you, we live if we stand fast in the Lord. The link list with the theme, I cannot be lost regardless of what I do. For now we live, and so that word if, is that word if, is a conditional clause. If ye stand fast in the Lord, what is it saying? If you continue, stand firm and stay with him. Um, it's the same as the word remain. Even though they both have different meanings. But the writer said, if those who are alive and remain, which means you're standing firm, you're standing with the Lord, you are standing in the Lord. Praise God, for now we live, if ye stand fast in the Lord, and this live is eternal life. Praise God. Now, even though both the same and the unsaved will be given eternal life, right? Everlasting life. But one of the life is classified as death. Yes. One is classified as death. Because so one is going to be tormented in a place referred to as hell. Yes. And the other will be with the Lord. Jesus Christ reigning with him forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So for now we live if ye stand fast. In the Lord, not just in the church or in a community or in a family or in an organization, but standing fast in the Lord. The writer said, Be strong in, not in church, mm -hmm. not in a community 
or in um, your family, but stand fast, be strong in the Lord and the, in the power of his might. Not our power, or our might, but in the power of his might. Praise God. Verse 9 says, For what thanks can we render to God again for you? For all the joy we with we joy for your sake before our God. As I said, the key verse is verse 8 in this chapter. And we'll move on to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2. I'm going to read from verse 11. You can verse. It is a faithful saying. For if, and this is the word if come again. For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. There have to be a death. There have to be a death. What death? Die. Die to self, die to sin. We must be dead to sin. What does this mean? Don't allow sin to reign in your mortal body. Why is it called mortal body? The same part of you that is subject to physical death. That is your mortal body. And the members of that body should be healed to unrighteousness. So this is the physical body. So this is talking about this one. Not, not the spiritual body. The physical body. Let's go back to the verse. You remember the verse of this read? Yeah. It is a faithful saying for if we be dead with him we shall also live with him. So we die to sin and we rise to walk in newness of life because sin is to do with the old Adam. Righteousness is to do with the new Adam, the second or the last Adam. Praise God. So it is indeed a faithful saying. The only way we can live with him if he is if we die with him. Um, do you know who they bury? Exactly. And so when you go down in the water, who should we bury? Or who should be buried? A person who dies. And that's there's a there's there's a word repent. That's what repentance does. It's a death. So when you repent, it means you died to sin. And then we bury the physical you is buried in water. Remember when you baptize, we're still um, in the process. Right? Not yet receive the Holy Ghost. So you're not yet quitting. But to die to sin, so you are buried. And coming up out of the water, the old man is now buried. So when you come out of the water, you rise as a new man. So if you rise a new man, there should be some newness. So you rise to walk in newness of life. Not just to, you know, be repaired. And this is why it's called a birth. You must be born again. And this born again means start all over where it first began. It's not all over again. And so, irrespective of the age, the Bible said when one just born, you need milk. But not just any milk. What milk? Sincere. Sincere milk of the word that the she should grow thereby because your new nature you just take on a new nature 
Praise God. You're just born in a new family. Carries a brand new name. Whatever name is pronounced upon you. When you enter the water and plunge, then that's the name you rise with. So if you went down and father some Holy Ghost, you're going to rise in Jesus. Whatever name is pronounced, when you go down, that's the name you rise with. I'll give you an example. Mary's brother died. It was a friend of, he was a friend of Jesus. You remember that? They sent for Jesus from he was sick, but he didn't come. But after he was dead and buried down, how many days? Four. Jesus came and Jesus said to them what? Show me where you lay him. When Jesus went to the grave, who did he call? He called the name. So the same one that went down is the same one that comes up. Right? So when you go down in the name of Jesus Christ, first you repent, which means you die. You die with him. Right? When you go down under the water, you're buried with him. When you rise out of the water, you rise with him. To walk in newness of life. Give me the verse again. 11. 11. Verse 11, all right. I just want to know that you're following. It is a faithful saying for if, and only if, only if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Praise God. If, and if again, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. What it means to deny one? Peter did that. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. Could it be sometimes the, 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 the life we live and the way we, we live, we are denying Jesus? Because every time we, um, whether publicly or privately, find ourselves doing things that is not representing Christ, we are denying him. Right? If he always love and forgive, and we are doing the opposite, we are denying him. Mm -hmm. If we fail to hold him publicly, we are Deny him. If we, um, if we speak about him and testify about him among one another in church, but after service and we are in the public, and sometimes you might hear a conversation about Jesus, we don't want to be identified with him. You're denying him. You don't want to join him. You don't want nobody, especially if you hear um, the unsaved cursing Jesus in which they, they, they do sometimes I don't, I don't want this Jesus and if you don't want to you don't want to even you know, let anybody know that you know this man by denying Jesus praise God especially if someone see you and say there is one of them <laughs> what would you say like Peter no I don't know him you might not say it out, but you feel that, you know, you cannot, you cannot stand up to that. You're denying him. Now, the Bible says, if you deny him, what will you do? So let's say you're, 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 you're in the public and um, you deny him, but you don't want to um, speak about him. But there comes some, somebody attack you. And they say, in the name of Jesus, in a form of rebuke. What do you think is going to happen? Nothing. He's going to deny you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Would, 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 would you want Jesus to deny you? No. Would he say, if you deny me, I will. No. Wherever you feel to identif be identified with me, I will 
and I'll identify with you. If you defend me in the public, I will defend you. That's what Scripture is saying. If you fail to defend me, then I cannot defend you. That's the better name of the Lord. Yes, if we believe not, yet he abided faithful, he cannot deny himself. We can deny him, but he cannot deny, and he will not deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to this, but to the subverting of the hearers. All right, let's go on to another, um, another chapter. Let's go to Hebrew chapter three. Verse 5. And it said, And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are. Are you following this? But Christ as a son over his own house. Which house? Yes, but there is a conditional clause. If we all fast, the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. So even though we belong to him and we are his sons, we are his children, but there is an if. If we all fast, the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope. How many of you know that there is a rejoicing in the hope? Rejoice with such a hope that one of these days, whether we are dead or alive, we have this hope that we will live and reign with him. Praise God, church. We are saved tonight, but we have to keep saved to be saved. We have to endure to the end in order to be saved. What are we talking about? I cannot be lost regardless of what I do. This verse is contradicting that saying. Praise his holy name. But Christ is the son over his own house. Whose house are we? Yes. If that's the first end, we could say yes. We are the house and we are the temple of the living God. But here is the if we all fast, the confidence and the rejoicing of the whole firm. For how long? For how long? Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have to endure to the end to be saved according to Matthew 10, 22 and Mark 13, 13. All fast the hope of eternal life to the end according to Hebrews 3 and 6. All the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end Hebrews 3, 13. Show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope to the end Hebrews 6, 11. Overcome and keep Christ's work to the end. Revelation 2, 26. All these scriptures, so we have to endure to the end. What is the end that we're talking about? When you draw the last breath, that is the end of your physical life on this side. And where does that end, eternity begins. Your destiny seal. When you oh, you cannot change anything. There's nothing can be changed. If they burn that body, 
I can throw it in the sea, water a grave, fire a grave, earth grave. If you tuck it in a sepulchre, um, 10 story building, nothing can change it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you're eaten by a fish or a shark or a crocodile, nothing can change. It's over. It's over. Praise God. And so saints of God, if we want to die in hope, we have to live in hope. If we want to rejoice after, we have to rejoice now. Praise God. Um, anything we want to do in heaven, we have to start doing it now. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works, forty years. Speaking of the children of Israel, for 40 years they saw the works of the Lord. Um, I don't know how much you read, especially in the Old Testament scriptures of the children of Israel, how the Lord um, provide for them. My God, there were so many miracles, so many miracles that they brought them out of, of Egypt. Praise God, the water of Jordan dried up. And at a time when the water was... Um, Overflowing its bank. Yet as the priest stepped in, the water dried up. They went across the Red Sea. Praise the water from the, the, uh, the rock. Manna for 40 years. The Bible said that the clothes did not worn out. Nor the shoes. And I wonder if the, if the, if the, if the, if the feet grow. And the shoes still fit. That tells me something. You, you, you draw your own conclusion. And if, if the, if the, I, 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 God is a wonder. God is just a wonder. And um, you know, every day I read, it, I read the scripture. I believe God more and more. And many people don't believe in life after death. But if you believe that Lazarus was raised, remember, he was already in the grave. His body was in an advanced state of composition. Right? But just moments after Jesus called him, they decompose, recompose. Right? And we have seen resurrection also in the Old Testament. Even someone who died and was buried and a prophet um, um, casket was thrown in and when he touched that bone, that bone became life again. So all across the scripture, there is resurrection. So if resurrection took place here and now on the side, then you can just imagine that there will be resurrection. Blessed be God. If from when there was no man, God formed dust and breathed. Can you imagine? Just mix up clay. And I just see my Lord Jesus mix it. Remember, he, he used clay again with a bit of his fiddle. And he just mix it and touch the eye. And say, go wash. Right? And the eye side return. Now, I don't know what he used to mix the clay then, but it was just clay. And any one of us can, can, can mix clay, mud, and form head and hands, right? But when you're breathing that thing, so, so what I'm saying, God formed the man. But when he breathed, I can just imagine, did he make the organs? Did he make the heart? Did he make the kidneys different and, and put it on the I don't know what he did. But somehow, when he breathed in man, I'm not even in on. 
everything just the heart jump in place and, and the kidney and the liver and the lungs and the clay get a big skin and bones stretch out in the clay and the small intestine the large intestine and everything miles of bloodstream and blood that was in him the heart started pop, 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 and pumps blood and it got up, look high open, ears hearing. And God started to talk with man and the man talked to God. He became a living soul. No more clay. Do you know, saints of God, what can happen if God touched you one time? It doesn't matter who you are. One touch from God. You know, he said to Peter, follow me. I will make you to become fishers of men. He showed Peter um, a miraculous sign of a toil all night. Throwing the net right here. And for the whole night, the net was down. Nothing. And Jesus took about the same place. Just go, just go, launch on a little more. Just try, right, just go a little more. And let on the net. In the mind of Peter, I've tried all night, I caught nothing. But I'm just doing it. I'm going, I'm going to go back just because you say. Maybe just to show Jesus that it was true. Nothing is there. But when he went back in the boat and went and dropped the net, all of a sudden, God, do you know that every fish in the ocean have name where God is concerned? Amen. And God can call them by name. God can call them from the east, west, north, and south and says, cool together and go straight into the mouth of that net. And when the net went down, the Bible said, all of a sudden, fish is just till the net started to break. You have to call for help. Oh, Lord. What a mighty God. Church, let us believe him and trust him. There are conditional clause. If we can only believe him, we will see the glory of God. If we accept him, saints of God, he will accept us. If we defend him, he will defend us. If we put him first, we will, he will put us first. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Church, can I just let just tell you this? Whatever you want God to do for you, do it for him first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just think about how. Lord, what are you saying? What do you want from the Lord? Give him first. You want to bless you? Bless him first. I will bless the Lord at all times. You want him to defend you? Defend him first. Bless him in the name of the Lord. Yes. And when you do that, he will. He will defend you. Can you imagine, oh God, oh, 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 good God feel when Paul and Silas preach the gospel? uncompromisingly and when they when, when, when they when they jail them in the city as they let them out they are down the road preaching again and they jail them again and while in jail they were writing scriptures in the middle of jail they were singing and praising God so much that the angel from heaven looked down 
And the song was so harmonious that they went to heaven and got this much angel and said, oh, shake it down. Shake it down. And when he then stepped down and shook that thing, the locks popped and the chains fell off. And the soldiers fell like dead men. And when they, when they walk out, they said, listen, we're not going because, you know, the jailer didn't see them and was going to kill themselves. They said, do yourself no harm. We're still here. <coughs> Church, God will shake down prison for you. Just you. If, listen, if it's because of him while you're in there, rest assured. He will not deny you. If it's, listen, if you suffer sins of God, make sure it is because you're a Christian. Make sure it's because you're Christ-like. And if you suffer for him and with him, I'm telling you, even if you're stoned to death, he's going to step off his throne and stand up. You're going to see him standing up for you. Why? Because you stood up for him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh God, I feel the presence of God. Lord God, I love you. Your word Amen. is true. Hallelujah. His word is true, saints of God. Amen. Yes, it's true. Amen. Three teenagers, young boy. They were just young children in the early teens. Took before a king or Word is final. That's a whether how God deliver us or not. I will not bow. I know He can deliver me, but what if you don't feel like delivering me? I'll burn. I'll burn. But I'm not going to bow. And God heard that. Yes. Honor it. God heard that. And God could just blow on the fire. <laughs> but he allowed the fire to be eaten seven times. He allowed them to tie them up and throw them. Amen. And while they were going in, the heat was coming out. And the chains and the shackle burned. By the time they jumped in, they were on their feet praising and blessing God. And the men that threw them in was burned to ash. Ash to ash, dust to dust. That's right. I don't know, but God, I'm, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to serve God. I'm going to serve until I know Him. And the power of his resurrection. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, there is power in the name of Jesus. Wonder working power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, that I may know you. Lord, I want to know you. Lord, I want to know you. Yes, Lord. Lord, I want to know you. Hallelujah. Lord, I want to know you. And the power of your resurrection. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Church, if you just trust him yes. and believe him, yes. he will be there. Amen. They are willing to go in the fire for him. You think going to stay out of the fire? No, he's going to jump in too. Amen. Anything you are willing to go in for the cause of Christ, is willing. willing to come in there yes. for you. 
to deliver you. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And somebody said, Daniel, God surely will deliver. No, I'm not talking about that. My God. My God. My God. Surely will deliver me. That's right. My God. My God. I'm not talking about our God. My. I'm not talking about Daniel God. Because some of you don't know what Daniel God. Yes. Some of you know Shadrach, Mishnah, and Abednego God can deliver them, but can you say, My God. My God. Surely will deliver. Some of you know about the Apostle God, but I'm talking about my God. Yes. Surely you will deliver yes. me. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Thank you. Look to him by faith. We can say, my God. Surely, surely will, will deliver. You need to, you my need God. church, you need my God. My God, a good God. Yes. Because listen about Daniel, that all you're looking at Daniel over there in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. What about you yes, in Lord. your fire? Yes. Can he deliver you? Yes. Will he deliver you? Hallelujah. So somebody yes. want to when, when, when I am dead and gone, somebody needs to be able to sing, Holy oh, God. Mm-hmm. Surely he will deliver me. Yes. Until they can sing, My God. Yes. So when I need to send, send some more Elijah to pray the power down. If the power gonna come down, you're gonna have to pray it. Amen. These are the days of Elijah. Those were the days of Elijah. These are the days, my days, your days, our days. So still talking about sending Elijah to pray power down. If you need power, you better pray it down. If you need anointing, you better pray it down. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Anybody remember the verse? 10. Verse 10. Yes. Wherefore I was grieved with, the, with that generation and said, they do always hear in their heart. And they have not known, oh God, my ways. Look at the other verse. So I swear. <laughs> Look at the other verse. Look at the other verse. You see that? Yes, yeah. So I swear. Can you imagine God swear? In his wrath? God swear. God, in other words, God vex and he swear. As I live. They shall not enter into my rest. Why, 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 why did God do this? Look at the verse. Wherefore I was grieved with this gener- with that generation, and said, "They do hair in their heart, and they have not known." You see that God wants us to know Him. Yes. So when we are we still serving Him and we don't know Him, God is not pleased. He's not pleased. And he swear concerning that generation. Don't you think he will swear again about us? Yes. Amen. Oh, yes. He wants us to know him. Yes, he wants us to know him. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. So he said in verse to take heed, the brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. You see that? Yes, brother Black, that's the word. Unbelief is evil. Oh, God. It is evil when you fail to believe God. Give me some example. Believe him for what? For healing your body. Mm -hmm. For healing your mind. Hallelujah. For keeping you holy. 
for protecting you on the street, on the train, on the bus, in the street, night and day. If you don't believe God can keep you, it's evil. You don't want to travel by bus and train because they're pushing people. It's evil. Because God told you, I will protect you. So if you don't believe God, you have a evil heart. Not my words. Thank you, Lord, for hearing that God for you. So just to walk in fear of what can happen to you as a child of God is a evil heart. So as of tonight, you're not going to walk and look over your head and, and, and you know, bob and wave that whoever coming to get you. You don't need that heart. It's an evil heart. Amen. It's a spirit of fear that God never gave you. Yeah, I don't want you to have that kind of a spirit. No, no, no. You will run from your shadow. You will run from nothing. You will see things running and nothing not coming behind you. Maybe you don't want to shut up. You're going to run so fast because anyway you're going to shut up, going to run you down. If the light is behind you any at all. What's the verse? Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. In the parting from the living, in the parting from the living God. When we are filled with unbelief, we are departing from the God who is alive. I am he that liveth and was dead. But if you look, you will see that I'm alive. I'm alive. He don't want us to walk in fear. He don't want us to walk in doubt. He don't want us to walk in unbelief, saints of God. God wants us to walk. Blessed be the name of the Lord in, in the strength of his might. He wants us to stand up strong and believe him. Let our belief become faith. But here in verse 30 he said, But exhort one another how often. That's what I'm doing this tonight. Why it is called today Right? Yes. No. Yes. You can hear me, right? Yes. It's a day for your ears. <laughs> but some of the ears night don't catch them. Mm. You know that? You know when night catch your ears, what happened? Yeah. You're not dead. Yeah. You lie, but your ear is dead. <laughs> You're deaf. When night catch your eyes, you know what happened to it? It opened, but it can't blind. So I will work the work of him that sent me. I will, I will use my ears to listen while it's still day. I will use my eyes to read the word while it's still day. I will use my understanding to understand the word while... Yes. Because when the night comes, the eyes open, but it's still blind. And the ears open, but it's still. And the grinders cease, and the, the mute, the dogs are mute. The voice is low, too. So let's go. The strong man is going to bow. And the housekeeper is going to get weak. Can you imagine you used to be in the seven after a while? If someone is not being in a bed, the very grasshopper will be a burden. So exhort, which means to encourage one another daily. That's what we're supposed to be doing in our sins of God. Every day, don't discourage anyone. Encourage. Right? And if you don't have anyone to encourage you, the Bible says encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. You have to learn to be your best encourager. That's right. Because the cheering crowd is the easiest crowd to become the jeering crowd. Amen. So learn to cheer yourself. Yes. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Exalt on a daily while it is called today. Do you have any tomorrow? I don't have any tomorrow. Don't know about it, sir. I don't have any tomorrow. That's why every tomorrow, when it comes, it's called today. So what is tomorrow? Today. Tomorrow is Thursday, right? And you say, I'm going to, I'm going to work tomorrow. But you'll never go to work tomorrow. <laughs> you'll never go to work tomorrow. Any of you ever go to work tomorrow? Which day is tomorrow? In your mind. Next day after today. But by the time you get there, it's no more tomorrow. It's today. <laughs> so by the time you get to work, it's not tomorrow. And they said, I'm going to go back to work tomorrow. By the time you get to that tomorrow, it's, it's today. today. Amen. So there's no tomorrow in God's book. Today. So any time you hear the word of the Lord, it's today. Blessed be God. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Do you know, saints of God, there, there, there can be time if we don't be careful. We keep hard no heart, hard no heart. And the thing that you know is wrong, we keep doing it, doing it, doing it. Do you know after a while they become the norm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. So it doesn't matter what word you preach and teach. Mm -hmm. It cannot help you again? No. It's tough. You get tough. Mm -hmm. Let us be careful, saints of God. If you sin, repent fast. Sure. Fast. I say fast. fast. Amen. Whatever it is, repent fast. Don't allow it to stay overnight. Because if one multiplied by another, multiplied by another, and you keep multiply. After a while, things of God, the word of God will do nothing for you. You come to church and you feel good and you go back home. And nothing have no changes. And if you are coming to the house of the Lord, I mean where the under looks the word of God is preached and teach. And there is no daily changes taking place in your life then you really have to think and take stock if I'm hardened. Lord Jesus, do you know it's very hard to be saved after being under the gospel for a very long time and refuse to accept it? Yes, it's hard. People just come and hear the gospel one time and feel the Holy Ghost and save. And person went there for donkey years. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold, this is the word, if, 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 if. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. You see, that, that, that day when you receive Christ, when you believe him, when he, he, he sanctioned to you your repentance and your presentation, your body living sacrifice, by sealing you with a seal called the Holy Ghost, you need to keep it right there. It's a state of readiness. And if you're not there, pray and ask God, take me back to that place. This is not two year port. It's not two state of readiness. It's one. It's one. So, when that happened, if you go to hell after that, it is what you did after that. Because when God blots something out, it's blotted. <laughs> when God remove your sins, he remove it. So look at, look, at, look at Saul. Look at Saul. Look at David. David. Think about what David did. Think about his entire life. We wouldn't want David to be a member of our church. <laughs> but when God blacked out his sin and his transgression, That's right. 
It's as if it never commit a sin. And this is why we have to be careful how we try to look at somebody and try to judge them True. of our foolish self. Yes. Amen. As if we are the forgiver of sins. Mm -hmm. if, as if we are the one who blatting out <laughs> sins. When just, you know, things will take us years to forgive. And I forgive you, but I'm going to keep with a long stick. I'm going to keep... I forgive, but I don't forget. You better forget. Mm. Because if God if God can't forget anything, and yet he said, I forgive and I forget it. It's an official release. Mm -hmm. release. Right? So when the Lord showed in the sea of forgetfulness, it doesn't mean that he don't remember it. He will not act no more. No more. Blessed be God. So when you give God something to destroy, it is destroyed. It's gone. So if you take it from your saints of God, don't you ever believe. It's evil to believe it's still there if you give it to the Lord. Sure. It's evil to believe that on the day of judgment, the thing that you did, what got blacked out, is going to face you up there. No. It's done. Grace and mercy said no. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so, whether, um, whether, a, whether a slave or, or um, a child in the house, in the Jewish family, adopted or whatever, both have to be treated as biological children. Amen? So when God called us and said, tell, told us to call him Haba, Father, it means that he accepts you as sons. So even if you backslide and return, don't come back with the, with the slave mentality or the slave mind, like the prodigal boy. If you notice when he when came back in with that mentality, the father just son him up. You see that? He son him up so much that the slave mentality, hired servant, he knock it out of him so fast. Mm -hmm. Ring. I have to teach him that. Ring robe and sandals. I will teach him that one night. The significance of that. Mm. Praise him because once a son, you return in the man of oh, far. A far country, you no know, far. Wow, far. <laughs> You're in the bottom of the dungeon. We couldn't go any further. Mm -hmm. From a Jewish boy to a pig pen, and then not even eat. Pig, yet to work in that thing. And stealing from the hogs. Because he didn't have a for the hogs. He was a thief. And he ate it. As far. Even if it's right behind the house. As far. You want to know how far current can travel? Um, I forget the, 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 the exact uh, speed of light. Anybody remember? Speed of light? Speed of, speed of light. And current can travel that speed. It was from here. And if you just just disconnect the wire by one eighth of an inch, even one sixteenth of an inch, that you can look through, your eyes cannot look through to see that it's not touching. Yet it's not touching, that's how close. Yet, it is as far as the east is from the west. <clears throat> Unless it's touching. Right? What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't matter how near it is if it's not touching. Let's say it's a it's hundred miles away. It's not touching. There's no light. And you take it from a hundred to one eighth of an inch is the same distance if it's not touching. Because it's disconnect. So let's say a sinner is far away from God. 
But another sinner is very near. What is that touching? <laughs> What's the difference between the distant? Good. And this is why where sizes of sin is concerned, there is no capital and comma. There's no big ones and little ones. It's all disconnection. So we should not look at somebody because they, they, he, he committed the dodges, like of fornication. This one is a thief. This one is a murder. Wow, this one is an ex-convict. But I didn't do anything. Well, just think about the little lie. The good man is like an envy, like a grudgeful, like an unforgiveness. You think it's a little? It's easier to catch rock than mice. Think about it. It's easier to see a big rat than a little mice. <laughs> and mice is more dangerous than rat. Because how, sometimes you can keep up the big rat. But a little mice. You're shocked to see the size of a hole that a mice go through. It looks big, but the other way of stretching itself. And they come like a needle and go to that thing. So we have to be careful. They go, Foxes that gnaws at the vine. Saints of God, this is real. And we are preparing for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm going to stop here for tonight. Um, still a number of scriptures on this. And I, uh, maybe two more weeks and we finish, finish this and we go into more in-depth stuff. But I think this is good. Amen. And I do believe, saints of God, that I'm blessed. And I do believe you have received blessings from this today if you would hear his voice or not your heart for some when they have had heard did provoke albeit not all that come out of egypt by moses but with whom was he grieved 40 years was it not with them that had sinned whose carcasses fell in the wilderness yes he killed them and to whom Swear ye that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in. Why? They don't believe. So in the other chapter, we'll pick it up next week. Remember me, chapter 4. Let us therefore fear that a promise be left us of entering the rest. Any of you seem to come short of it. If we don't believe God says of God, we are going to fall short too. We are going to fall short because God is no respecter of person. So when you know to do good and you don't do good, to you it's evil. Mm -hmm. So if you know to do good saints of God, even if somebody do you bad, no good. don't try to do them no bad. No. Got too wrong to make. Right? So if someone hates you, don't be vindictive and try to be evil and to hate them. Your duty is to love them. Your duty is somebody to do bad. Your duty is to do good. Why? Because all of this is a temporary. This is the primitive of life. You know, still life, life, life flying. You know. I think, I think some of you need to take some picture now. <laughs> and if you want to you take it again. The later on, when the, when the rock comes in your face, precious memory. And you look at that and you say, I really, I really need this. <laughs> you can't believe it, man. Just, just, just a few years ago. It was round and smooth and, you know. Yes, we get in their church. Yes, man. We can't, we can't slow it down. So, what I'm saying is that let us, when we know to do good, do it, do it church. Do it. No matter who is doing bad, you do good. good. You'll be the servant of God. God and serve him. Right? Serve him. 
Be the servant of God. Don't choose who to love, when to love. Just love across the board. And if people hate you, just kill them with love. Mm -hmm. Right? God bless the church. I'm trying my best to do that. And you know why? I don't want to be lost. I don't want to be lost. God bless you.